So I came up with the idea of the Lost Caves of uh, Fuck because, uh, you know, the last one was a dick joke. So this one's a, uh, you know, just generally just a fuck joke. Yeah. Um, anyways, and we said, you know, cavemen are stupid because usually teenagers in Native American cultures climb up into those caves anywhere, like in a, the side of the Grand Canyon. So we were like, um, what if they were just mentally damaged people from the near the beginning of time that were kicked out of their tribes like we know cavemen are? And that they made it a great way to South America on a boat following that channel that at a certain time of year isn't too dangerous that goes from Madagascar, because that's where they are, down underneath Africa and over to South America. And so we came up with the idea using our greenhouse that we had created to film stuff and to grow tomatoes and things and uh, plants early in to make the first scene of the movie uh, where we describe the entire plot of the movie. Basically, yeah. It's like we're trying to prove it's our movie. Exactly. Just to find love, they left the continent because they were hated, you know? It's a story of true love and a tragic ending tale, just like the, the first one where they yeah. fall into the swamp and their bodies are discovered near the dinosaur, you know, remains there in the, the tar. With the women, you know, they finally got to marry. Yeah, and so, you know, some of them may survive and be the ancestors of the people in South America today, but That's those unfortunate so souls... <laughs> no. No, but that's the, what I'm trying to, uh, you know, bring out in society. Yes, is that this is a test to see how many people, just like with the Wanda movie, say randomly it's about feminism or not about feminism or racism, while random white and black yeah. people die all over and in the movie. And this ties into hilariously the monster wrestling movie we finally just watched, yeah. where it's like you got to stop, you know, just saying people can be picked on. For yes. Stupid reasons. Yes, that movie Rumble by WWE Studios. Yeah. Also, don't rub the same statue's foot over and over again. I screamed about this before. I've seen, you know, in the other movie, uh, not in the movie, but in the book of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Oh. They they all are rubbing some foot statue that I hope yeah. doesn't exist on the Hoover Dam's Ew, feet. No. And so that's what I was that's what they're probably taking that from, and, and I screamed Serbians about that a lot. Serbians kiss the same painting at church. Yeah, the, the, Stefan said Serbia is a shithole because they all kiss the same painting, and that's just sharing disease again. Don't do that. Yeah. So instead, share semen and titty milk. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, back to the movie. Yeah, they have a bracelet on them that says that they traveled, you know, let's see here. The exact fancy artistic words would be, you know, translated supposedly from their ancient African language. You know, they were outcasts of their society and they thought that they could leave for an island, but it was, you know, not what they, they were lonely and they lived in a cave full of gold. Yeah. And they couldn't take it with them because it was too heavy, but the yeah. gold inside of them was light. And so that it was living gold and that it could carry them, yeah. you know, with the power of the sun across the ocean with confidence to a new land to hopefully find love. Yep. Yeah. And so then, you know, the people on the Madagascar Island want to murder everybody, of course, because they're just Africans that were hired, you know, to, to bring them over. And you know how bad anybody is yeah, for we're money. Talking, you jumped, of course. Now we're talking about the modern explorers going to find these lost caves in Madagascar. Yes, because we gave Sandra Bullock's character the, the map. Yeah, so she's on her quest. She she's got all the same. details. She's got the, the, the different, you know, inscribings. Yep. And then it's another terrible adventure where there's motorcycles galore flipping over all the different ruins as they sprint down below them and machine gun fire. And this time it's rated R because they have to shoot people occasionally and apologize for it like usual, like their characters established. Yep. And we got uh, Antonio Banderas and Salma Hayek uh, as the, the plane people that bring them in and fly them out at the end as they run away, you know, and have to drop all the gold on all the motorcyclists that are going to kill them and smash their face into, you know. To so take they, off. 
And so it's like one of those type of stories too, where you yeah. can't have all the riches, you know? <laughs> yeah. Because it's just pieces of gold they ripped out of the cave walls that it was just rich in, you know, that the caveman left behind because they couldn't carve into it and stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. they worship gold because they went crazy. Yep. So we were just out there making some waffles, and I noticed the phones weren't working because they're like demon possessed ancient phone lines or something stupid. So they were sounding all crackly. So we made the joke that it was like rattlesnakes tied together in a line. It just sounds all rustly and ridiculous when you try to like talk into the void of the phone nothingness. So, I thought maybe when they're calling across continents in the movie sequel, they could, like... The joke that we wrote was simply, Channing Tatum says, Listen, I can hardly even hear whoever's over there in Madagascar, because it sounds like dry, raspy rattlesnakes tied tail to tail, biting each other. You know, from yeah. across the continent. So, uh, there's no, there, there's nothing I can even do. I know I was going to add to that was then sh whoever could say, well, wouldn't it be, what do the rattlesnakes extend across the ocean too? And uh, wouldn't that like rehydrate them? And he'd say, I don't think these rattlesnakes are ever going to feel hydration again. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. That was that was the Whatever, line. yeah, sure. That works.